What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Hey, thanks to Sassy Assy for this week's request. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at Jet Force Gemini. It was developed by Rare, published by Nintendo, with a North American release date of October 11th, 1999. Jet Force Gemini is a third-person shooter which sees the player choose one of three intergalactic law enforcement officers. The story for this game goes Mizar, an evil alien insectoid, has sent hordes upon hordes of drones around the galaxy to try to enslave the tribals. It's your job to explore 15 diverse worlds, find and rescue the tribals in each world, and stop the scores of drones. Jet Force Gemini places a very heavy influence on its dodging and strafing where you're blasting through scores of enemies. Like many other rare titles, you'll be doing a lot of backtracking, searching for enemies, and also trying to rescue people. You do this by using the three characters like I just mentioned, who each of which have one special ability, such as one can breathe underwater, another one has an extended backpack that lets them float or jump longer, and you use up to 15 weapons. Now, let's touch briefly on the controls. Overall, this hand game handles pretty well. It's very similar in a lot of ways to Donkey Kong, if you've ever played that. One button jumps, one shoots, and the C buttons let you strafe side to side or move the camera up and down. No issues here. Next, how are the music and sound effects in this game? Well, if you've played any Nintendo 64 rare title game, you should have a pretty good idea of what to expect. I would say it's the best that they've ever done, but not bad at all. It pretty well fits the overall motif of the game and allows you to really get engrossed in the overall environment. Honestly, the biggest drawback to this game is just the sheer amount of backtracking and hunting for items or for the tribals, which are hidden in some very strange and just bizarre places on the map. I mean, sometimes hunting with trying to find these guys could just become so dang tedious. So, overall, is Jet Force Gemini worth playing and collecting today? Well, at a current price charting price of $11.43, any game that I've seen out in the wild for, say, 20 to 25 I would say yes. Well, why certainly. You can definitely do worse than this title. If you want a fun game that was made and published by Rare without taking an absolute brutal killing to your bank account, go ahead and check this game out. Now, one final note on this game, it was also included in the Rare Replay for the Xbox One, which is another game that if anyone has an Xbox One, I would highly recommend going and getting that game. It just has so much value, including this one, as well as Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo Tatooie, Viva, Viva Pinata, and even some NES and older 8 bit games from the 1880s and early 90s. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.